laid back Mickey here, and today we're gonna to talk about why you should ditch your bike for a recumbent trike before it's too late. Now, many of you are riding a bike right now, and you're wondering, why should I even get a trike? And we're gonna talk about the reasons why a trike, maybe why not a trike, maybe it's not for you, but there's a lot of reasons why you would love one. Let's start going over some of those reasons. So right now, the recumbent tricycle industry is growing year over year. I remember back when I used to have regular bike shops. This is going back to the 90s. I'm in my 20s. And I'm all like, hey, I'm going to live forever. And I was fit. I was a mountain biker. I, I was a downhill mountain biker. I would just hit those hills. I was strong. I was fit. But you know what bike shops are realizing? and this is happening in the whole industry, is people are getting older and they're riding into their 60s, 70s, 80s, and even into their 90s. They want to make sure that they have a product, something that's gonna help these people ride, like even when their balance starts to go or, or when their, like their back hurts or their neck hurts or the knees hurts, right? You know, there's always a reason why a recumbent trike. So maybe this isn't for everyone, but in the trike industry, they are realizing that, hey, we have an aging community, and I don't, I don't care if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, once you start getting a little older, something is gonna hurt somewhere. That's why the industry is growing, because the bike industry says, hey, we need to make sure we take care of the cyclist or the person that wants to get out and exercise in a way that is comfortable. Hey, if you're curious about recumbent trikes and you don't want to miss out, go ahead and subscribe below and watch our next videos. Yeah, now, you know what? A trike isn't for everyone. And I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to convince you to get a trike because back in my 20s, would I ride a trike? Probably not. I was a single track mountain biker, right? I like to go down Downeyville, down these hills, with the mountain on one side and a cliff on the other and I could fall to my death, right? That's what I loved in my 20s, right? And in my, in my 30s, like I just like rode on my road bike. I like going fast on the bike trail and just seeing how far and how fast I could go. But it wasn't until my 40s that I started to have some back pain some wrist pain and, and just, I started to feel like, shoot, man, I'm, I'm aging. And so maybe this isn't for you. Maybe you're still young, you're fit. Maybe, maybe you're older and you're fit and you, and you just see no reason yet. And that's okay. But maybe eventually you're gonna be like me to where something's gonna hurt in the morning and you're gonna go, I wish there was a better way. And so that's what the trike industry came up with is they said, hey, there must be a better way. Why three wheels rather than two wheels, right? Because three wheels give you that balance, right? You, you can come up to a stop sign or a stoplight and you don't have to fall over. Or you don't have to worry uh, about balance issues, right? You got stability. And so there's a lot of things that the trike industry or the, or the trike will actually solve or make easier for you to ride every day where a bike can't do that, right? You still gotta balance on a bike. You come to stop, you gotta put your foot down and you, you, gotta, you gotta keep your balance, right? There's a lot of things that a bike can't do that a trike can. So a trike may not be for you, but it is for many people. For me, it was the perfect option to solve a lot of pain issues. For many people, it's a great way to get it out and ride when you don't have to worry about pain. A trike is designed to alleviate pain, to alleviate balance issues, right? It's to make riding fun again. It's to make riding easy. It's to make it comfortable. And that's what a trike is all about. And so maybe now you're going like, hey, wait, I, I have some of these issues. Like I either have pain issues or back issues or balance issues, or you know what? I just, I'm not, I'm done with the butt being sore when I sit on one of those skinny seats and I want something that is comfortable. And that's what a trike does. So a trike is for you if you like comfort, if you like stability, or maybe if those are things that finally you're going like, I'm, I'm kind of done with being uncomfortable or, or like that one time when I fell over, you know, on my bike, I'm done with that and, and I want more stability. 
Maybe you're comfortable with your skinny seat and maybe you've never fallen over or maybe you never think you will fall over. Some people say, you know what? I don't wanna get into recumbent trike because maybe there's a stigma around, it's just not cool. Right? Maybe it looks like a lazy boy with wheels. And a lot of times I say, yeah, it feels like a lazy boy with wheels. You just get to get great exercise and have fun. But you know what? Um, the industry is changing. The industry is going like, hey, we can make all types of cool trikes that are comfortable and stable, but also look cool like the 559 or the Spider. Like 559 is by Cat Trike, the Spider is by Terra Trike. You got what I ride, which is the Ice Sprint X. I think it's super cool, fast, and I love it. And it has the comfort that I want and the stability that I want. So yeah, you could have the best of both worlds. You could have beauty, sleek, and uh, performance, along with that comfort and stability, right? That's the best of both worlds. Watch this next video and see why you shouldn't buy a trike.